Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to clean a disc brake, be it hydraulic or mechanical. That too without removing the rotor. We'll also get rid of that pesky squeaky noise that's a clear indicator of contaminants in your rotor and your brake pads. Grease and olive fluids are the contaminants that make your brakes squeal. Sometimes what happens is that fluids from your brakes leak and flows down along the tube and enters the brake caliper and hence contaminates it. That's one reason. Another reason is when you're washing your bike, if the pressure uh, in your water hose is too high, it may fly off some of the grease from the chain rings and the chain and land on the rotor. That's another reason. The third reason is when someone touches the rotor with bare hands, be it you or someone else. Skin can be oily sometimes. So my suggestion is to wear gloves while changing or cleaning your brakes. The last reason for squeaky brakes might be the misalignment of your brake pads or that uh, your brake pads have smoothened. So take a sandpaper and just give it a good scrub. First of all, unscrew the bolts and take the caliper off of the brake mounts. Use pliers to straighten the spin. Now pull the pin out and push and slide the brake pads out. Take a cotton ball and dab it in isopropyl alcohol or a disc brake cleaner whose main composition is isopropyl alcohol. Tighten the lid properly because isopropyl alcohol is very volatile and evaporates easily. Now clean the brake pads on both the sides to the point it looks anew. Now take a piece of sandpaper and scrub off the top layer on the pads that's contaminated to make it rougher and scrub off any contaminant that's left on it. Dab a cotton ball in isopropyl alcohol again and clean the pads again to remove any residue or powdery resin. Take the wheel off for convenience and redo the last three procedures again that is dab a cotton ball, wipe off the contaminants, scrub with sandpaper and wipe again. While scrubbing it with sandpaper make sure you do it in one direction only until the satin finish comes on the rotor just like a new one. Now wipe off any residue. Lastly we'll put our wheels back on with, and with the help of a flashlight we'll check if our pads are aligned with the rotor.